Hi all, um, I'm Natatech, this is the first video I'm going to do, and uh, I thought we'd explore the internet together, so this website I found is called www.christwire.org, um, I don't know if it's a real website or not, um, my friend happened to tell me about this one day, and I thought I'd check it out, well, the page we're going to look on today is, is Gay Contagious, the 20 ways that you can catch it, so for all you straight homo-fearing people out there, I'm going to give you the signs to watch out for us. Dun dun dun! So, let's begin. Number one, attending a pro-choice rally. These places are the den of sin. It is well known that lesbian and gays attend these events in hopes of obtaining some young man penis or sweet virgin cherries. Okay. I don't know about you guys out there, but I know for a fact for me, at least personally, if I'm looking to go hook up with a guy, the first place I'm not going to look is a fucking pro-choice rally. Hey, why don't you put down that banister so I can go take you behind the alley? No, it's called a club, you dipshit. Get with it. Welcome to the times. Hello. Uh, I mean, I guess I've never been to a pro-choice rally, so I couldn't tell. Maybe I could find some sweet virgin cherries. I guess that's the next time I'll go out there. Fuck speed dating and internet dating. I'm just going to go to pro-choice rally from now on. Fucking A. Number two. Sharing a soda. Sharing a soda often leads to the exchange of bodily fluids. The small amount of saliva you are ingesting now could come back to haunt you in the future. Studies show that this is a gateway activity to get you used to the taste of the same sex in your mouth. It starts at letting one of these gays share your Pepsi and ends with him shoving his penis in your backside repetitively. Fuck. I wish I would have known that when I was in fucking high school. I could have had the whole fucking football team. Jesus Christ, that would have made my life so much easier. Instead of having to snap pictures of them in the fucking locker room while I'm hiding in a fucking locker hoping to God that I can fucking masturbate to it later. You know, going all to the bad kids who smelled weird and smoked marijuana repetitively, asking them if they could get their hands on Rooflin so I could drug one of these hunkies. I could have just fucking shared a soda with them and been golden for years. Fuck. God, I wish I would have known that. Number three, listening to Lady Gaga. Okay, I'll give you that one. Skateboarding. When men grow long hair and take up a sport that appeals to children, those very same children get molested. Incidences of anal rape at skate parks across the nation have soared in the past few years. Yeah, because cases of anal rape hasn't occurred in fucking Catholic churches anytime in the near future. Oops, sorry, too soon. Shopping at Hot Topic. See, something tells me... A way for goths to not conform wouldn't be to have a penis in their mouth. That's just me, personally. Reading Fight Club. Gran and Brad Pitt is yum in that movie. But besides the point, the book? I've read the book. He's one of my favorite authors. Chuck Palahniuk is an amazing author. I really wouldn't say that my parents could blame him for me being the way I was, or am, I should say. Somehow I don't think reading Fight Club was the thing that woke me up to be like, you know what, I really just love men. Anyways. Wearing a piercing on your face. Back in the 80s, the gays used to have a code regarding which ear your earring was placed on. These days, it involves facial piercings. If you have one over your eye, you like sodomy. If you have a nose piercing, you are a sodomizer. If you have one attached to your lip, you go both ways and also enjoy fecal matter. Um, I would really, 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 really want to know where the fuck that information came from. Because I would know better for next time. If I saw facial piercing, I'd be like, oh fuck, he likes fecal matter. I'm going to just delete him right now. Registering for the Democratic Party. Attend a Democratic event and you will no doubt be surrounded by homo gays. Is this Westboro Baptist Church? Like, I feel like I'm seeing a lot of familiar patterns here. Failing to renew your hunting slash fishing license. 
um, while the rest of the men are out pro providing for their families with good elk meat and a few trout for good measure, you will be at home with the women folk, learning cooking, cleaning, and how to be feminine. Okay. Is this the 1920s? Is this, uh, 1873? Is, did we just discover fucking America? Are the fucking Brits trying to take us over and we're trying to claim our independence? Welcome to the fucking 21st century. Does the sight of a woman in a business suit frighten you? Oh my god, she must be a homo gay. She's wearing a suit. She's doing a man's job. Ah, the world's crumbling. Frequenting the same pool as gays. Many gays enjoy fornication in public pools. In the olden days, this only went on after hours and under the cover of dark. Lest the two offenders be covered with tar and feathers and ran out of town towards Mexico. So, are you saying that back in the day, homo gays, as they like to put them, were tarred and feathered in a frequenting pool after hours and were ran to Mexico? Fuck, I need to plan a trip to Cancun. Watching Dancing with the Stars. Many of you think this show is innocent at first until you see what it did to once prominent NFL linebacker and strongman's man Warren Sapp. So, basically they're saying he's not a manly man anymore because he was on Dancing with the Stars. It's called He Spent His Money Poorly and it was his publicist way of saying, hey, you need to not be broke anymore. You're going to be on Dancing with the Stars. And the story. Owning a Shih Tzu. Bark, bark, you're going to be gay. Smoking marijuana. Many believe this is a harmless activity. Many also believed Hitler was harmless. Okay, I'm sorry. You cannot put Hitler and marijuana in the same category. That Those two have no correlation to each other whatsoever. Once you're high off one of those cigarettes, there's no telling what you might do. Rape, murder, sodomy. Pursuing a comic book. Men running around in tight spandex, blowing up buildings and disrespecting America is no type of fair to raise your children with. Okay. Oh, there's a lovely picture of Batman giving it to Robin in the doggy style position. Guess I haven't seen that one yet. Guess I know what I'm going to look up on my Netflix instant queue for next time. Allowing gaze in your house. Once they sit on your furniture and grab a hold of your remote control, it is over. Your television will be plastered with images of penis-on-penis -penis action. You may have to call the police to have them removed. It is well known that gays are awkward to deal with and will always claim discrimination. This, the real discrimination here is that you don't want to be gay and they're discriminating against you for that. Be sure to keep pepper spray around in case you have to chase one of these fairies out of your house with force. Okay. Pepper spray? Seriously? What the fuck do we need gypsy tears to in order to keep us out of the fucking malls and the Walmarts and the Targets of the world? What the fuck? Are they going to start wearing fucking garlic around their necks to keep us out? Jesus Christ. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If me, speaking personally, I wouldn't know why the fuck I would go into someone like your house anyways. Because I'm pretty sure you live on the com corner of homophobia and lynch. Yeah, I really want to take a fucking trip there. No thanks. I really don't want to have to stay the night and see cut holes in your linens. <sighs> Making a profile on a dating website. I guess youngchristiansingles.com is now a gay hotspot. I guess I know where I need to create another account and fucking fill my email with spam. <sighs> Adopting a vegan lifestyle. Hmm... The only thing I can think of for this whole website right now is Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Because you're all fucking stupid and ignorant. That's why we cannot be friends. <sighs> Working at a hair salon. Ho 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 ho. 
fornicating before marriage. Dun, dun, dun. So, fornicating before marriage leads to sin. So, all you teen moms out there, just so you know, you've already spread the seed that your children are going to be gay. Your children's children are going to be gay. And we're going to procreate throughout the entire world and destroy all of humanity. I don't even know what to say. I really hope this website's a fucking joke. Or shame on you, America. Shame on you. But anyways, um, thanks for enjoying this website with me. I'm sure you had just as much fun as I did. But uh, anyways, subscribe down there if you want to. If not, it's completely understandable. It's like, because I know I don't want to... You don't want to catch it. So anyways, thanks for stopping in. Have a great evening. I bid you adieu.